Hello there, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. My name is Sule Emmanuel. Our topic today is believing God for something better. Believing God for something better, and this is part four. And our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Jeremiah 33, verse three. Friends, our God is able to do all things. And whatever we ask him for, we are sure that he will hear and answer us. But this is important. As we desire things from the Lord, we must also know our responsibilities. If you desire for God to do great things in, you know, in your life and through your life, you must be aware that you have a responsibility. Now, many people pray to God for things but are unaware that they must bear some responsibility for their prayers to be answered. Friends, God's word is filled with his wisdom to guide us to live as responsible believers. We indeed must start preparing for what we are praying for. We must ask the Lord to open our eyes and our hearts to what is expected expected of us to walk in divine possibilities. Many times when we ask God for something, our lack of growth causes a delay in the manifestation of our answers. There are things we expect from the Lord that are waiting for our decisions, our new resolutions, our discipline, a transformed attitude, and a better approach to issues. We may never see God's possibilities in certain areas if we ignore our responsibility. You and I must come alive to our responsibility for anything we desire from the Lord. It is important to note that the Word of God does not just work for us. The Word of God works with us. This is why it's important that as we engage God's Word, as we spend time in the place of prayer, we want to ask the Lord, Lord, what is expected of me? What must I start doing? How must I start living? What is my responsibility for this divine possibility to become a reality? I believe that God's Word has spoken to you today. We are blessed by this. I encourage you to please Come back to this devotional again. Listen to this again. Meditate on this and the Holy Ghost would minister to you every time you do. Please pay very close attention to the wisdom push for today. Today's prayer and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. Have a great day, Father. God bless you.